Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob Licklider here with another Series 12 Sunday for the finale of The Timeless Children, talking about my reaction and initial thoughts um, of this episode. As always, spoilers. And of course, before we begin, as you t- in 2019, YouTube was caught data mining underage users. Um, it enac- YouTube enacted new policies uh, meant to scapegoat creators um, and avoid responsibility. Uh, to stay compliant with so to stay compliant with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPPA. Uh, this video is not intended for children. Yes, Doctor Who is a family show watched by watched by you know families. Uh, but these videos are tackling Doctor Who from adult themes and with uh, adult ideas. So you know viewer discretion is advised. So the timeless. The Timeless Children. Um, okay. This is an episode that... One, on social media, there are two reactions. first one is that the episode is one with... Where the idea... Uh, People are being really, really positive about this episode, and I don't think, I don't think I can be, because this isn't, and this is an episode that I'm not going to be giving a rating out of 10, at least initially, because, like Fugitive of the June, Dudune, I don't think the story is really over yet. Um, The big, big takeaway, okay, so, uh, oh, oh god, this is so hard to talk about. Um, just because the twists that happened happened so quickly and things were, things were rushing and you were getting right to them immediately. Um, but this is, this is an episode where you, you have the idea, um, is that we have... A bunch more questions than answers. The idea is that the timeless child is the doctor. And the timeless child is sort of this history, this secret progenitor of the time, of like the Time Lord gene alterations. One, I'm actually really glad Chibnall's all uh, acknowledging that, yeah, Time Lords of genetically altered Gallifreyan, not not the name of the species. That I will say. It's clear that, that Chibnall knows what he's doing with canon, and I don't think he's actually trying to change things too much. Um, things seem like there's actually, uh, meant to be, um, meant to be that the, that the story is doing something really, really different and really, really interesting. You have, you have this idea, um, that the doctor is the timeless child and has, is respond in the time child had the ability as it was had the ability to regenerate to regenerate yeah and and that was what was sliced in and they've kind of the time lords have suppressed it from the matrix um yeah a lot of this episode takes place in the matrix with through flashback about what the timeless child is narrated by the master and people are taking it as if we are actually meant to be thinking that this is all true yeah, the master. Uh, the the master is one of those things where you don't have, um, you know, you, you don't have the idea um, that you don't have this idea that. Um, you know, they don't have the idea that everything is one is 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 supposed to be taken seriously because this is the master. He lies, yeah. Just because he says he's not lying, he's he's very clearly lying because things aren't adding up. Yeah, they acknowledge the Morbius doctors, and apparently people are saying they said the Joe Martin doctor was pre Hartnell. I don't think that was ever said. It was implied. But it wasn't said definitively, so I think there might be something a bit more different going on. Um, like, this isn't... Um, uh, 
Um, like, yeah, there, um, this is, this is just, this is just an idea, um, where you, you just, you have, you have the story as it stands, and nothing, nothing entirely explained, um, like, this is asking more questions than it's answering, like, you have this whole idea of the Division being basically the CIA for the Time Lords, for the, you know, the Celestial Intervention Agency, even though that's, like, it's there for two seconds, that asks questions. This is, this isn't actually, you know, rep ans this is providing more questions than answers, which I, I think is, it's a problem that Moffat had, and I think it's something that Chibnall is continuing, um, which I completely disagree with, that that is not necessarily a, an idea, um, you know, this is, this is some sort of, like, the idea that the story isn't quite telling us everything, that we don't have quite the, the ideas, um, uh, I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's not really, you know, as we, as we know it, and I don't, I don't really think I can necessarily agree that this is amazing. Like, it's it's definitely got me curious and intrigued to see w where we go with this and what Chibnall's next step is. Um, because, um, you know, because, you know, that's just... Like, it's, it's such a weird episode, um, cause you just, I'm, I'm still trying to process this, hence the sort of choppy nature of this video. I mean, we still have the special, so that's gonna be a follow-up, um, but we also have things like, um, like, you have, you have, like, like, there's just the story... Um, you know, it just, it doesn't make any, any, it just doesn't make for an interesting story. It's, it's, it's a lot of exposition and build up. Um, I will say, actually, outside of asking more questions, you have, part of it, and it also, it feels like padding. This episode feels really padded, like, at 65 minutes, it's long, it's, it's an episode that I think could have used some trimming in the editing room. Um, you know, there's there's just this real sense that things perhaps could have been better had they, you know, taken time and breathed and you know had you know and actually had a a you know had a, a way to get the story moving. Um, almost quicker. Um, uh, I will say the plot with the Cybermen invading Gallifrey and the Master sort of creating immortal Cybermen to destroy the world is interesting. And it, uh, again, it sort of is what really kind of supports my idea that this might just be all a lie from the Master because he's trying to get the Doctor to destroy Gallifrey again. Um, it's just... It's just it's weird. It's it's a lot of weird things that I don't think t entirely make sense. Um, I will say I like the conclusion. Um, I actually kind of like the cliffhanger into the into the special. That was that was you know interesting and, and, and told us something about what the characters are doing and you know um, what they are. Though the fact that now there's just a random house TARDIS on Earth that's that's weird, um, and I wonder, I wonder if seeing the, uh, Joe Martin TARDIS in this episode is maybe a clue as to what's going on, because Chibnall's gone on record saying he, he understands canon, and I think he does, because there, there plainly there are references here that clearly shows he just understands things, even though, yeah, this is a very fan-wanky episode, and that is, that is definitely also maybe part of the problem, 
that it is a lot of fan wank. Um, but it's just, it's an episode that we're asking questions continuously. And we don't actually get any answers yet. Um, maybe, maybe, like, I'm going to be on the panel discussion on Lord Slar's channel this week. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have my thoughts thought out by then. Um, as of now, I don't, I don't hate this. Uh, Sasha Dewan was great. This feels... Um, Genesis of Androzani on Twitter replied to me saying that it feels very ultimate foe, and I actually kind of agree with him. This feels like there is definitely some stuff going on here that doesn't necessarily make uh, entire sense. Um, yeah. You know, it's... It's weird. Um, that being said, um, you know, it's, it's this, this very, very weird thing. Um, yeah, I think that's really all I'm going to say is that it's definitely interesting and I, I kind of like the direction, but I also... I, I, I want to see what's going on next. Um, if I were to give it a score, maybe a five. Um, but that might change, because I need to really process more. So um, there might be a follow-up to this video, there might not be. I don't know. Uh, definitely, please leave a like, comment, your opinions on this episode. See if... Do you agree with me? Or am I coming out of nowhere? Because um, it's... It's definitely a, a weird... Um, you know, a weird little, um, thing where, you know, you don't necessarily have all of the answers, you know, yet, and, and that's, that's okay. Um, yeah, so maybe a 5 out of 10, maybe not, um, as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, um, tell me what you thought, do you agree with me, do you disagree, and, um... I guess the next time I'll talk about Jodie Whittaker will be at Christmas, so I'll see you then for that. If not, keep, please keep up with my marathon videos. Those are fun, and uh, look forward to seeing me on Lord Slar's channel this week.